No longer time now. Hi guys, it's Kenshin Kenshin. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to get right into it. I don't give a F about anything. 34 year old Virginia woman gets 12 years in prison for printing fake coupons. The couponer scammed stores of over $31 million, was flexing on Instagram. Let's get right into it. Let's show the video and then I'll give you my take. FBI shared new details and pictures all here those about Lori Ann Talon's operation in a release today. At Talon's and her husband Pacifico were sentenced to prison last month. Let's look at all those coupons. You see all of those coupons? That is a ridiculous amount of coupons. First of all, all different types. Let's see CC's pizza. So this person was making an entire business out of printing fake coupons. That's actually insane. The FBI says Talon's had more than $1 million worth of coupons in quote every crevice of the house when it was searched. The scheme lasted from <laughs> April 2017 to May of 2020. Talons was paid around $400,000 by subscribers and social media groups. The service required customers to send a copy of their ID and proof they had used counterfeit coupons before. I think that it's really interesting how they had a whole rule. We need to make sure that you're a frother and that you scam as well. And then, you know, you got to get referred to by a friend and all this. They had a very intricate system to prove that you are who you say you are and that you're not somebody who's going to be taking down the operation but of course with some of these operations like this all you got to do is get a referral you find out how to get referred into this type of thing and then it's all downhill from there because the fbi just gets on in there and is like hey actually i want some coupons too let's uh let's hit it up <laughs> and then you go straight to fucking jail all right skip boardwalk go straight to jail used counterfeit coupons before the FBI says all communication was encrypted on encrypted apps and new members were only allowed in if referred by another member. A Virginia Beach couple will spend years behind bars for what prosecutors call one of the largest coupon fraud schemes ever discovered in the U.S. It's one of our top trending stories on Wavy.com. A judge sentenced 41-year-old Lori Ann Talons to 12 years behind bars for her role Ooh. in the scheme. Her husband, 43-year-old Pacifico Talons, received a more than seven-year sentence last month. Usually the girl gets less time behind bars, but in this scenario, we have the husband. He's going to get out when he's 50, but the wife is going to get out when she's, what, 53? I mean, it's not too bad. According to court documents, between 2017 and 2020, Lori Ann used social media sites and apps to find coupon enthusiasts and then sold them counterfeit coupons. Prosecutors say her husband was aware of the scam, profited from it, and helped with the operation. The scheme resulted in more than $31 million and losses to victims nationwide. So she does have to pay back a specific amount. She has to pay $31.8 million back to retailers that she defrauded with the fake coupons. She got 12 years in prison on September 14th. She pleaded guilty to mail fraud, wire fraud, and welfare fraud. Her husband, Pacifico Talons Jr., 43, got 87 months. Fake coupons with a collective value of $1 million were found in every crevice of her home when a warrant was executed. So she did not have any sense in hiding this at all or putting it into a safe space or anything. It's just was all out there. They just all they had to do was knock on the door, walk in, and boom, they found like a million coupons. She designed and printed coupons at home and sold them to a network she amassed on social media sites using the name master chef which is hilarious the fbi said she was able to create a coupon for almost any grocery or drugstore product and able to make it for whatever value off she wanted she had coupons for 24.99 off a 25 dollar box of diapers and it would work what You'd have people walking out the door with those diapers for almost nothing. Talons used those profits to pay for vacations, lavish dinners, a new kitchen, sunroom, and an in-ground swimming pool. In addition to this coupon scheme, the Froster got $43,000 in benefits from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program and Medicaid. So, she was really finessing the system. She was going hard in the paint. I think she would have did really well if she had just kept it to a very small group of people she personally knew 
and just kept it that way. I think she would have actually did a much better job and she wouldn't have had to go down like this. With it being such a large scale operation like this, it's just really bad, you know? It's really bad for you. It's really bad for everybody you're connected to. You're just gonna get in really big trouble. Whenever you get like a franchise of stuff going on, that's when stuff starts to really mess up for you. Personally, I think that what she was doing wasn't all that bad. I mean, it was just coupons. Really, any competent person behind the register would be able to peep that it's fake coupons or at least go, hmm, this is interesting, and then have their manager look at it. When I was working at Food Lion, it was back when I was like 17, I'm like 23 right now. We would sometimes get these people and they would come in and they'd get a bunch of supplies or whatever, and then they'd have coupons, and I mean, crazy amount of coupons that they would use on these supplies and each and every time I had to turn them down because the way that these coupons would work you would have to manually put them in you couldn't scan it which was a huge red flag and this was years ago these people that are actually letting her go through with these coupon stuff I mean they they're just bad at their job essentially because you're taught not to put in manual stuff without manager permission you would go and you would look and you'd say Oh, yeah, I would need my manager to do this. And then your manager would walk up and your manager knows that if you can't scan the coupon, that it's likely a fake coupon and they would look at it and see and they would inspect it. And they have a very selective few types of coupons they're allowed to accept. And they know what type of coupons are in circulation at the time. So they would look at it. They might take it back for just examination through the system or whatever. It'd take them about a minute or two because it's a foreign coupon and then they'd come back and they'd be like well this is legit or this is not legit and if it's not legit they'll just say oh i'm sorry we can't take this coupon i I'm, i really apologize and that would be it and if it was legit then they would tell me oh move aside and then they'll put it in and then it'll be good so they had this system set up when i was 17. I can't really imagine somebody in like walmart or best buy having anything less of that system. I know that she did get away with a bunch of stuff and her people also got away with a bunch of stuff. So it's kind of interesting. It's really shocking to be completely honest with you. Like, so this thing managed to last for about four years and you know, it's just, it's incredible that it lasted that long, but also it's not very shocking because of just the nature of her crime and how it was going on. If she just kept it tighter, I'm sure she would have been able to go under the radar and not get caught with something like this, but you know what it is, you know how it is with things like this. It just gets out of hand so easily, really hectic, but yeah. That's what I think about it. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about something like this? I think it's pretty cool, very creative. I do think that it's kind of scummy at the same time though, but it is what it is. If you guys like this type of content, please hit that like button down below, turn it blue. It would really help me and my crew. Also, if you guys happen to dislike this video, share it to one of your most hated enemies. Maybe they will like it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please consider subscribing. As always, this has been Genshin Kenshin. Thank you guys for watching and peace.